Hello everybody, it's Spectacular, the Silver Stacular. Today I have just a couple coins, so it's going to be a short video for my dance go. But I'm, I'm getting close, I'm getting so close. So it's going to be episode 4 of me filling my dance go 7070 typeset album. Let's get started. <laughs> coin shop today and uh, had some some monies um, I had two hundred dollars I'll tell you right now I had two hundred bucks and I knew that I was going to do my best to get at least a couple of these coins that I needed for this type set so the coins were priced a little uh, higher than the money that I was going to have with me and uh, I was able to talk the person down the shop owner to the area where I needed to be on these things so first coins first Otherwise, it would be the last coin first. Here is an 1876 Seated Liberty half dollar. So the price was, you know, a little bit higher on this one, but I was able to talk them down to $40. You know, it's a, a lower condition, and I'm just trying to fill the set. So this right here solves that little dilemma that I was needing this right here, and we're going to go ahead and put her in there. And, you know, she's really not that bad condition. She's just worn down. So I'd say it's a... A problem-free coin, but definitely worn down a little bit. So, but she's gonna go in. So let's see, what I say, 1876. So that fits this spot right here, perfect. Let me go ahead and take the gloves off for a second because these are not easy to open up when you have gloves on. So there we go. So here she goes in there. Make sure she's nice and straight. Oh nope, not at all, not at all. Whatever. I'm just gonna go ahead and use my fingernail. Now she's crooked. So in order to fix that, now I gotta put take the other one out, which is gonna knock her out. It's a whole ordeal. It is a whole ordeal when they're not straight. Okay. And I'm like, you know, I'm funny like that. I gotta have them, gotta have them perfect in there. So take that one out for a second too. Okay. So now you know what happens if you mess it up. So she's in there. Now, you know, inevitably these are a little worn down too, so they're gonna possibly move around a little bit. As you can see, this one right here is already upside down too. Since we're here, let's go ahead and take her out and put her right side up. Remember that one? That little um, barber half dollar? Got some serious toning to that one, doesn't it? Gross, but that's okay. She fills the spot. That's what matters. So let's put them back in. Do, do, do. Do get in there. Okay. Um, still need. They didn't have any of these. I tried to get one. Didn't have that right there. Um, I have one, but I need this this a little bit older one there. It's all right. I will get it eventually. I hope. As my mother used to say, "God willing, and the creek don't rise." I will get it. Now I'm very excited to have one of these coins right here. So this is my first of these coins that I'm about to show you. Don't have any other ones. Got one today. Um, a little nervous about these kind of coins right here because a lot of them are faked. What am I talking about? Talking about a trade dollar. So trade dollars are often faked, so be very, very cautious when you see one. I found a few that were faked uh, personally. Um, I caught one that was fake at a pawn shop the other day. A guy was trying to sell it to me. And, uh, you know, he doesn't have a Sigma either, so I'm, like, really being cautious because I don't have, like, a Sigma that I bring with me either. You know, I'm relying on, on stores to have that stuff. So you know what I did is I actually did the ping test to it. Man, that thing sounded like a brick. And I told the guy, I said, there is no way. And it looked kind of funny too. A lot of the numbers were messed up. Um, they they weren't, they, they were soft looking. They looked almost like dough. You know, some of these different letters um, instead of like all crisp like these ones look right here. So hopefully you can enjoy her, this trade dollar here. Um, a lot of times they'll have some marks on them um, because these were, you know, these were utilized and 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 traded um, and and not really something that was meant to be in collectors' hands. So you're going to find a lot with markings and and things like that on them, and a lot of fakes. So be very very careful. The ping test got me the last one. Now this coin shop that I went to today, he actually had a Sigma Metalytics machine. 
And so I was said, you know, I said to the guy, Hey, can we, can we do that real quick? And he said, absolutely. And it showed up perfectly in the middle as silver. So that was good. Plus everything looks pretty legit on the obverse and reverse of the coin. So I had no problems with it. The toning looks like it's not like, you know, faked or anything like that. Looks problem free. I would say around, uh, maybe, maybe like the extra fine kind of condition right here on this. Um, but I paid $160 for this guy. They're not cheap. So anyways, so that little not so cheap girl right there is going to go into the, into the dance go. Let me open it up here. And that man, that's, that's one slot right there that was causing me some problems. And now it's taken care of. It's filled. Look at that. Locked it in. That's exciting. That is exciting for me. You know, it's only two coins in this episode, but those two coins, especially this one right here, are not easy to come by. They're not cheap. That was a struggle. That was a struggle. Now I have my first trade dollar. I'm confident that it's it's genuine. You know, after everything I've seen from, uh, you know, the shop owner who's been doing this for many years and his expert opinion was real. My opinion was real. I, Sigma tells me it's real. I, I felt good about the whole thing. So now, very expensive. I still have the Seated Liberty dollars to go. These things right here, it's hard to find one if you're not paying at least two to $300 for, you know, just a, a terrible condition one. So those are going to be hard to fill. Hard, hard, hard. Um, let me see. This is, this can be somewhat challenging. Um, it's an older coin and, and people don't, I mean, at a coin show, I shouldn't have a problem. Sometimes at coin shops, though, might have an issue right here. What else? Oh, right here. Um, what do I got? A Liberty Head quarter with no motto. Don't I have that? Can't I fill that? I have, I might have to. I might have to go through my quarters and look for that. I might have that quarter. So so far, that's four coins that I need. And look at this. Look how much. Me. Me. Oh, look at this. It's so. It's so filled up. It's crazy. And this half cent right here. That's been a challenge trying to find that for some reason. Um, but I will. I'm going to get it. So five more coins. That's all I got to do, everybody. Five more coins. I would imagine if it was uh, if it was um, up to me that you're not going to see too many more of these episodes. Maybe one or two more. Maybe one or two more. So anyways, thank you very much for coming with me on this journey. It's getting close to the end. It's getting so close. Man, that trade dollar is awesome really really happy to have that in my collection so at this point i gotta go i gotta find more coins to fill this thing up with spectacular and the typeset book are out <laughs>